We're tracking some updates for you this morning. This stems from the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Now President Joe Biden has gone before the nation calling on Americans to lower the temperature in our politics. Meantime, the FBI continues to search for a motive into the shooting as we're learning new information about the suspected gunman. ABC's Perry Russom joins us live with the latest developments from Milwaukee this morning where the Republican National Convention starts today. Perry. Hey, good morning. The stage is set for a busy week here at the RNC in Milwaukee with the speeches set to start in just a few hours from now. Trump talking to the New York Post yesterday saying he's supposed to be dead. Today, day one of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. The Trump campaign planning to highlight the former president's plan for the economy as the week has taken a dark turn. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. President Biden addressing the nation last night. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. Security, a top concern at the RNC. We are confident they, in these security plans that are in place for this event and we're ready to go. Um, it's been an 18 month process. Trump arriving in Wisconsin yesterday, pumping his fist in the air. In a new interview with the New York Post, Trump says, I want to try to unite our country, but I don't know if that's possible. People are very divided. Investigators say the man suspected of trying to assassinate Trump is Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old who worked at a nursing home. Crooks' high school classmates say he was rejected by the rifle team for being such a bad shot, it was considered dangerous. He was just bullied, like he was bullied so much. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro says Corey Comparator was killed at the rally, his family posting tributes online. Shapiro says the retired firefighter died protecting his family. He wouldn't want to be thought of as a hero, but that's, that's definitely how he should be remembered. And the FBI says Crooks was not on their radar and no motive has been found just yet. Right now, investigators are looking at his cell phone to see if he was consuming, taking in any type of misinformation. Back to you. Perry, thank you. Reaction is coming in as we continue to learn details from the attempted assassination of President Trump. The message that everyone is sharing, violence is not the answer. Congressman David Valadeo, who represents part of the Central Valley, says he's disappointed to see the former president in the line of danger. Retired U.S. Representative Connie Conway felt the same. But I hope this is a wake up, wake up call for people is that we, we've got to get this right, people. This is our last chance. Uh, if we don't get it right this time, uh, I'm really fearful for what happens going forward. We are a nation that has the freedom of speech. We're a nation that has the ability for us to have our thoughts and our opinions and be able to express those. That type of response is never okay, no matter what side of the aisle you're on. Congressman Valadeo adds he wants to know what failures allowed the shooter to get so close to the former president. And the FBI reports that the suspected shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was using an AR-style rifle purchased legally by his father more than a decade ago. Investigators say they believe Crooks acted alone, but have yet to come up with an ideology that would lead the registered Republican to attack Trump. The shooter had somehow taken up a position on the roof of a building just outside the security perimeter, but only about 400 feet from where Trump was speaking. A picture taken by New York Times photographer Doug Mills shows one of the bullets streaking past the president's head, grazing his right ear. Others weren't so lucky. Corey Comparator, a local firefighter, was killed as he used his body to shield his family. Corey dove on his family to protect them last night at this rally. Corey was the very best of us. May his memory be a blessing. Two other men, ages 57 and 74, were initially listed in critical condition, but were last reported to be improving and expected to survive. And now, after all the weekend chaos that took place in Pennsylvania, Donald Trump waking up in Milwaukee. This is where the Republican National Convention will take place. Over 50,000 people, including 2,500 delegates, are expected to attend the big event. The delegates will choose their presidential and vice presidential nominee during the four-day event. Former President Donald Trump is the current presumptive nominee. He is expected to announce his much-anticipated vice presidential pick at the convention. The 2024 Republican Party platform is also expected to be revealed. And a strong security presence has been set up in Milwaukee. 
Milwaukee just ahead of the start of this year's convention. Photos shared with Action News show Secret Service snipers on rooftops. We got law enforcement officers standing by on horses and a long security line. Valley delegates to the RNC say they feel safe and secure despite Saturday's assassination attempt in at Pennsylvania, Fresno County. Republican Party Chair and Delegate Elizabeth Kolstad uh, believes this will impact the former president's campaign. Maybe we're on the fence, are so disgusted at the attempt on his life that it, it will help him. I, I mean, I've talked to a lot of people that have friends and family that maybe weren't voting for him before, but they are absolutely so disgusted at the lengths that people are, are going to not have him be elected that they're going to cross over. They're going to vote for him. Delegates also told Action News about the highly anticipated running mate announcement. That's expected soon by the former president. They do have some predictions and believe whoever it may be will also further advance Trump's campaign. And be sure to stay with Action News as we continue to follow updates to this breaking story of the president rally shooting. Uh, former President Donald Trump rally shooting. For the latest update, just go to ABC30.com or download our app.